Hello again, and welcome back to the HVAC Calcs video series. Um, this is a calculation program made for iOS devices. Um, it's not a true app. It's actually a file from a database program called FileMaker. You can first download FileMaker Go from the App Store. And in the description below, you can email me, and I will send you the file. Um, today, we're going to look at a uh, rolling offset and how to do one. One thing I want to mention from the last two videos was uh, when you make these bends and you record them and name them, um, you can recall them for later in case you had a, uh, you know, like an accident on the job. For example, this job one, bend one, not very descriptive, but we did three here. We did a, the first offset and the second offset. And, and what you could do is say somebody were to hit that pipe or damage it, you could cut that pipe out and you'd still have all the measurements and have to try to figure it out in place and you can just go bend another piece of pipe and stick it in there. So let's take a look at our rolling offset. We're going to start off with a new record. Let me get on the bottom here and we click new. Yes, we want to create a new record. Let's just call this uh, sam sample job two rolling offset. And again, we're going to use inch fraction, and we're going to pick our three-quarter inch bender, and our bender style is going to be a marked roller. Again, a quick look at this is uh, we'll show you uh, what I call a marked roller is the angle markings are on the roller right here. So when you make your measurements in order, you'll make a mark and you'll line that mark up with the appropriate angle. That is called a marked roller bender. Um, the next type of bender I call is adjust to zero. This is a bender where on the plate here are the angles and the marks you make on the pipe you will line up at zero and you will bend that angle. And the third type is a front of hook type of bender and the marks, all the marks in the pipe will be adjusted so you put your mark here and make your bends. So that being said, let's get rid of that. When you're doing a uh, a rolling offset. There's a number of ways to do it. Some people just um, do measurements right in place and calculate it that way. But we're going to do it front to back. And the way I first did it is you're going to have to solve for two triangles. Here's the first triangle down here, this pink triangle. And then the second triangle is going to be this green triangle. And you just need two of the dimensions or two or one of the angles and one dimension to uh, make all these. So Let's say we have, um, for example, we have an offset, and we want, uh, and we'll call this uh, this bottom side here B. We'll call that the roll. Let's say we have a seven-inch roll, so we mark seven here, and we put zero in for the inches, and we have a rise right here, which is five inches, and we put five in here. What you'll notice is um, the angle right here, angle A, comes up as 35.5 degrees. And angle B over here comes up as 54 and a half degrees. And what you'll also notice is this side C here, which is the set, this is one of the sides of the second triangle that you have to solve for. And that'll automatically move over to here and populate this. So the next thing you want to figure out is you want to figure out your angle or how far you want to be back. There's a couple ways to do this. If this is the plane of what you're trying to roll into, you can say to yourself, you can try some sample ideas. Let's say I want to be back 20 inches, which is your run side. So just put 20 in here. See what it says. And that's your uh, that'll show your travel, which is this side here your length between points two and three and it'll show your angles and that's your bend angle that 23 3. another way to do it which is an easier way you just say let me see what a uh, angle e let me see what a 30 degree angle looks like All right and then you'll notice now your your run side here becomes 14 and 15 16 and your travel between two and three is 17 and a quarter that's an easier way. If you don't like uh, you don't like 30, maybe you want to see what 45 looks like. 
and that leaves us numbers 12 and 3 16 and what you'll do is you'll take this point and consider this point we're coming from this direction to use your number so let's go back and use uh, I like 30 degrees I'm gonna put 30 degrees in here alright so what we'll do let's just say 30 degrees side D which is your 14 and 15 16 so if this po if this point from here to here were 30 inches we'll say minus 14 and 15 16 is gonna make me do some math here and that's gonna be 15 and 1 16 so to start angle this point right here is 0 and we're gonna do what I say we're gonna do 15 and a 16 15 and a 16 and we're going into a 30 right this is a 30 degree angle here so we're gonna bend the 30 right and that will that will also populate this 30 then from here to here point two to point three is your travel and your travel is seventeen and a quarter seventeen and a quarter that's going to go into another thirty right and then we'll say from point three to point four is going to be a thirty eh, who cares eighteen and a half inches eighteen and a half inches and that's how you have your pipe marked now if you weren't using a marked roller again always start off with a marked roller then if you were using a adjusted zero or a front of hook you could just switch it you'll notice all these will change again front of hook that would be your measurements you'd mark on the pipe and then bend uh, also assume make sure you have your front of hook measurement proper properly that would be um, that would be from this mark here to where the zero is on your bender. That would be your frontal hook dimension. So we're going to, in that case, this one was pre-populated for two. And um, that would be your numbers. Um, but the uh, marked roller gives you a proper total length of pipe as your last dimension. And um, adjusts to zero. And that's basically it. That's how you measure out and mark a pipe for the push through or pull through method to make a rolling offset. Thank you for watching. Bye. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your first, you're going to come over here on the end, we're going to go 15 and a 16th, we're going to make a mark on the pipe. Then we're going to go 32 and a quarter and make a mark at 0.3. And then your last mark will be at 50 and 3 quarters.